Hello, in this Java programming video, we are going to look at the vector data structure. And a vector data structure is like an array, but it's dynamic. So you don't have to specify a fixed size. You can just add as many as you want or as little items as you want. The other beauty with vector is it's not restricted to one data type the way an array is. So it could store integer values, float values, <laughs> Boolean values. It could store strings. It could store, you know, your own data types if you have your own classes. It's really, really cool. Okay, so let's create a basic vector. Um, first thing we'll need to do is do an import. So import Java dot util dot asterisk. You can just do Java vector. I mean Java dot util dot vector if you want, but we'll just do asterisk so you can just import for everything. And now we're gonna do vector. So we're gonna create if a vector called it vec equals new vector like so. Now let's you know add something to it. At the moment it's empty. So to add, you just do vec dot add element. And let's say if I just specify the number one, then vec dot add element. So there's a few different options. So there's the regular add method, which allows you to add an object or you know something, an element, but at a particular index. So that's great if you want to essentially just override a value at a particular index you don't want to just add a new one you just want to update it almost and we'll, do, we'll just keep simple just to add element and what i'll actually do with this video i'll provide a link to where you can see all the different methods available for vectors because there are a plethora of methods now let's add a let's add a string let's you know vary it up a bit so i'll just put hello here not how hello make it a bit more kid friendly and now we could just do a system dot out dot print line and let's just print out vec so this will print out the entire vector this is really cool about the printing in java in many other languages you wouldn't just be able to just provide print anything that you wanted whether it was like a vector, an array, or just a single element and print it out. Usually they'll just want one single piece of data. Whereas Java is pretty cool like that. And if you want to print out just an individual one, or more specifically access an individual element, you can do so by doing vec.get and you specify the index. So if I specify zero, it will get the first one. So, which is one. And if I duplicate this line and add, we we'll change this to a two, so we get the last one now. Remember, zero, one, two. I'll comment here. Index zero. Index one. Index two. So, just as pretty much everything else in computers starts at zero. Okay, so we got hello. That's pretty darn cool. Let me show you another cool thing that you can do with vectors, which is using enumeration. You can essentially, you know, go over, you know, your vector and just print everything out, access it really, really easily. So if, for example, I do enumeration, you know what, what I'm going to do, go a step further, add a bunch more of these. I'm just going to keep it simple and just make numbers. It doesn't matter what they actually are. This will just help, you know, demonstrate why you would want to do something like the enumeration to go over it when you have a lot of elements. It's really useful. And now, okay. So what you want to do is create an enumeration. Enumeration like so and i'll call it just e and you assign it to what you assign is vec dot get elements or dot element sorry this gets all the elements and now what we're going to do is we'll do a while loop for while e dot has more elements so while the store elements available keep running this loop and there's a method to basically, you know, get to, you know, the next element. So if we do a system dot out dot print element, and we're going to do e dot next element. 
obviously if you just want to do this without a print line you just use this and maybe assign it to a variable or just do whatever you want with it that's fine as well and if we run this now there we go we printed them all out and yeah that's pretty darn cool so this was just printed from before so if i comment these out run it again i'll increase the size of this and you can see it's printed them all out so that's a really cool easy way without having to set up you know your own sort of iterator and using a for loop then using the get method and putting i in here you can just do it like so really really simple so that's it for vectors if you have any questions feel free to reach out and i look forward to seeing you in the next awesome java video